website using HTML, CSS, and then PHP. So what you can see right now is that a basic web page. I'm going to show you how we can do this and then include a header. So we we'll use PHP include statement to include to include the header on every other page. So basically, that's what we are going to do in this tutorial. Remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime we upload a new content. So we're going to do everything step by step. I'm going to show you how you can set up everything that you needed in order to have a simple web page just as this. So the first thing we're going to do is because we are going to use PHP, we need to have a web, a WAM server or it could be a ZAMP. So you need a local server running. In my case, I'm using the WAM server. So I have my one server running over here okay so we need to go and set up our working folder so the first thing I'm going to do is let me go to my drive C I'll go to my drive C and I'll locate my one folder here so this is my one folder and what I need to do right now is to create a working folder over here I'm going to create a working folder and let me just call it web page so I'll call this folder web page. So I'm calling my web working folder web page. That's basically what we are going to work with. So when I click that, that is what I use in writing my program. So what we are going to do is because I've created a new folder, my working folder, what I need to do right now is go to file, go to open. So what I'm going to do is that locate that folder on my drive C. I'm going to locate that folder in the www folder and I'm just going to open it so that web page. This is what we are going to work with. Okay. We are going to create the files that we are going to create files that we are going to work with. So what I need right now is to come down here. This is my working folder and first create a, a file. Okay. Let me first create a folder called CSS. I want to save my CSS file over there. So I'm going to save my CSS file in this folder then i'll create another one called image i want to have another folder okay notice that if you click on this before going to your folder it's going to create it as a can older guys date younger women so many guys think they know right this is one question that so many guys get as a subfolder so in this case i'll deselect this and then click inside and I can now go and type what image okay when i'm done with this we basically need to have a header dot php we also need a footer dot php i'll show you how we can embed that using the include state so we need a footer dot php we basically need our index page so let's create our index page index page and then our last two files we're going to create will be about the php and then we also need contact contact.php contact.php and finally within my css let me create a css file so you notice i've selected my css folder and then i'll type star dot css so this is all i need in order to start working okay i also need to have the image that I'm going to work with. I only need my logo for now. So I think I have a, a folder here. I'm going to copy my logo. So this is a logo I'm going to work with. I'll copy this logo. I'll copy this logo. Just locate. Go back to my drive C. And then paste this logo in my working folder. Okay. So my folder is web page. And I'll just paste this logo over here and if i come back to my text editor you, you notice i have the logo here so this is all we need in order to start programming okay to start writing our basic code to set up our web page what i'm going to do is that let me go to my index page and okay so let's set up our header we need to have a unique header just as we have over here so that is what we are going to do now basically we need to have a header like this this is what we are going to work with so let's go back here and just type localhost. Type localhost here. You notice we're going to have the page, our working folder down here. So this is the web page. This is what we're going to work with. We are working with 
this particular folder so what we are going to do right now in order to access this folder let's just type slash web page right now you're not going to see anything you're just going to see an empty page like this we are going to start working and you see what exactly we are going to get so let me go back here and then over here i'm not going to set up my header the header of my website okay so i'm going to say this i'm just going to use this to generate my basic template for my website so if i hit tab key i should get something basic like this so let me say web page so i'll give a header and say web page okay so this is what i have now and i also need to link my css in order to link css we have three different ways in we can link css to a web page we can use the external internal and the inline i prefer using the inline the external css so in this case we are going to use the link keyword so when we come down here we just link our css so my css is in this folder so first i need to type css slash the start of css where which i created okay so we need to just go ahead and just type ahead so within my header file i need to embed my logo i want to say okay first thing i want to make my logo a link as well i'm going to link my logo back to my home page so i can just say link and then within this link i'm going to link it to my index page so i can say index.php as simple as that and over here i'm going to embed my logo so my logo name is in my logo is in my image folder slash and then i'll pick my logo as simple as that so the alternative i'll just say what logo so let me just call this logo so we can just go to our home page and then load this page and see what is in order for this to appear it's supposed to show within our header page uh, show within our index page this is supposed to show within our index page in order to see this logo on our page if i go back and i load my page you will not see anything for now in order for me to have this logo appear on the page i need to link that within my index page so if i come back to my index page i can just use so if i come back to my index page, i can just say use php statements and yes include this over here and you can see what is exactly going to happen now so i'll just come down here and then use the include statement so i'll just include my header okay this is supposed to be in quotes so header header.php and this is php statement i need to terminate this now so I've included this on my index page. So if I go back and really, you notice now we have the logo appearing right on our web page as expected. So we need to go back and then work on our header. So we can go back here and then within our header now, we can come down here and then embed a nav bar. So we, go, we are going to have a navigation bar. So we call it nav. And within this nav, I'm going to have an ordered list. I'm going to have an ordered list and then within this list let me just give it a class and call that class let me see minion call this one minion okay so within this link i'm going to have the list items so li means list items and i'm going to make this li i'm going to make them a link as well so i'm going to embed a link between them so i'm going to have it this way and the first one is going to be my index page index page.php and i'll call this one what home and what i'm going to do i'm going to do is to select all this duplicate it just two more times and then control d will duplicate this so controlling d will duplicate this so i just have to just make a few changes to this I'm just gonna call this one about dot PHP and then I'll say about us about us 
Then I'll come down here and also say contact. Contact.php and over here I'll just say contact us. Contact us. So we can go back and then reload our index page. This should appear as well. So we have all this appearing. So we want to just see the last thing we let's see, let's add a new this thing in which we are going to improve on in the future. We can say sign up. You can say sign up the PHP. So I just want to make show you something. I just want to include some buttons. So I'm going to bring that down here just after the euro but it's also going to be in the number so i'm going to say link so within this link i'm going to link this to a sign up form which i have over here sign up.php and over here the link i'm going to include a button i'll include the button and i'll call that button name sign up or let me just call it register okay okay so this is exactly what I need now. If I load this, notice I've got register down here. So this actually is going to link back to our sign up form, which we'll create later on. But let's try to do some adjustment and then align all this by using CSS. So you're going to use CSS to line up what we've done so far. You're going to use CSS to do that. Okay, so let's start working using the CSS by styling our page. So because I have linked CSS to the header, all I need now is to go to my CSS file. And the first thing I need to do is to format. I need to actually format my page. The browser have its own default settings. So I can use the star keyword, star and say, I can set border, I can use the border sizing now this is going to be border box okay and we're also going to set our padding padding to zero we want to format everything as well as margin to what we are setting our margin also towards zero so this is exactly what we need for now and let's load our page and see the changes okay so you notice there are some few changes happening now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and target our ella we are going to target if we come back to our about page you notice that we have the link over here the ally we have them there this is also a link and we want to target and then give them the font we want to have a font that we're going to work with so what we do right now is to go back to our css and then target the ally the anchor and the button so i'm going to target my ally, the anchor, and the what? My button, and then apply some few settings. So, ally, anchor element, the button, a font family. So I'm going to give it a font family of. So I prefer going with uh, area, have vertical, and then sans serif. So I'm going to use this font for that, and I'll just go ahead and then also give it. A font size, a font size of 16. I'll give the font size of 16, 16 pills. Okay, and one of the last thing I'm going to ask, or the last thing I'm going to add right now is add text decoration. I'll set it to what's none. So I'm going to set my text decoration. Let's go back and load our page. Okay, so you notice that text decoration, the underline and everything is gone now. So now let's target our header. We want to use the flex box to display this, to display everything. So we're going to use the flex box property on our header. So you notice over here, I've created a header over here. So we're going to target this header and display it as flex. So we'll come down here and then say header and then display property. We set it to what flex. As simple as well. Let's see what is going to happen now. If I load this.